Okay. <clears throat> All right. Can you all see me? Yes, very clear. Okay. We're going to start now. All right. For those who just join us, um, good morning. Welcome. Hello. Um, you can still invite your friends in, you know, um, it's not too late. They have not, you know, we've not gone into the demo yet. So invite your friends, invite your relatives, who you think who may be interested to watch this uh, cooking show, cooking experience. Okay. So, okay. okay. My name is Lindsay. Um, we are from Alpha Team, Alpha Branch. Today, me and my uh, team member, uh, Ayu will be showing you some Western delights using just Thermomix to cook, okay? So first, thank you for coming. And before that, I want to let you know that, you know, every hour there's hundreds of Thermomix cooking experience being held globally. So you are part of uh, this uh, cooking, Thermomix cooking experience, okay? And I'm so excited to share with you the wonders of Thermomix and if you like what you see today, I would like a favor from you. Please share with your friends, you know, tell them about our cooking experience and talk to them and invite them to our next, um, next cooking demo. Or you can always arrange a private demo with us for those who invited you here today. So I'm very happy to host um, the show today with Ayu. Okay, so... What is my life before Thermomix? Okay, so as you can see from the photo here, my life before Thermomix is I'm a mother of two and I've been a Thermomix user for the past eight years. So before Thermomix, you know, we, I, you know, we are always struggling to know what to cook and no time to cook and a lot of washing and um, while taking care of a uh, two young kids, you know, and a lot of appliances in the, in the kitchen, I'm sure all of you do. And, um, you know, tired of eating the same dish over and over again. And, you know, um, I'm lucky to have my kids, which has no issue with uh, food, but uh, allergies. But I know a lot of my friends who, have, who are facing issues with uh, food, allergic, uh, food aller um, allergies, like lactose intolerant, they can't eat fish, they can't eat egg, then gluten. So, um, and also taking away food, okay, which is so common and it's so easy to do in Malaysia. But as now, as economic has changed, time has changed, taking away food is not cheap anymore. So this is my life before thermomics. I'm sure you too face the same problem right now, right? For those of you who are not a thermomix user yet. Okay, so my passion. Okay, so what is my passion? Okay, so since um, my passion is to help share the goodness of um, eating home, cooking healthy meals at home, you know, when family eats together, we are all united, we are happy. And, um, you know, and with one Thermomix, you know, you can cook multiple dishes, right? It's just one pot, one equipment, and really less washing and less clutter on your kitchen. You really have a, you know, a clean, clean, less cluttered kitchen and high modern technology um, appliance which is now everything is about technology, digital, right? And no more fumes, okay? Now cooking with Thermomix with a low temperature, we have no more fumes in the kitchen and it's only steam and it's healthy eating, okay? And when you cook with Thermomix, it's very um, less oil needed, okay? When you notice with all our recipe that we have in the Thermomix, you use very little oil and some recipes, there's no oil needed. So it's definitely healthy living, healthy eating with Thermomix, okay? And you can be more creative in your cooking and everybody can cook. And you know, when, it, when cooking is easy, we want to cook more at home. So we will um, order less food outside. We will take away less, you know, which I noticed my life after Thermomix, okay? So this is my question. I want to share with you all how easy it is to cook food at home not only easy, 
it's fun and it's healthy. Okay, in the long run, you will see the benefit of cooking at home. You know, healthy. Uh, using your own ingredient. You know what you're putting in your food. All right. Okay. So let's um let's talk. Let's and start with our first recipe. Okay. So my first recipe is. Okay. Is it screen share already? Uh, Eunice, I can't see. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. so my first recipe is sunrise margarita. So today I'm doing a non-alcoholic one. If you're one alcoholic, of course, you can find in the cookie do. Okay, there's plenty of um, drinks, cocktail, mocktails, uh, drinks that you can explore with cookie do. Okay, so let's start with sunrise margarita. Okay, so I, this recipe I've saved in, I've bookmarked it in my um, cookie do. Okay, let's start cooking. So I, it says recipe lemon, um, flash only, pips removed. Okay, two lines, um, flash only, pips removed. All right, and so you remove all the skin, oranges, half pips removed, and pineapple. Okay, so I have all of this here. I'm just going to put it in. It's very simple. Okay, so insert measuring cup. All right. And next, 15 second speed six. Okay, so I have the time, temperature, and the speed. So when you're cooking with Thermomix, it's just the three things to remember, the time, temperature, and the speed. So right now we're not cooking anything. There's no temperature required. So 15 seconds and speed six, it has already set for us. So it's telling us to go to speed six. Okay. So just follow the recipe step by step. You don't have to worry, okay? As long as the steps are very easy to um, follow, okay? Very simple directions, okay? So it says scrap down. So how it looks like is it looks like this, okay? So it become like a puree, right? Like everything is mashed up, okay? All right, so next. Two to three tablespoons of uh, caster sugar. So you can put, if you don't want sugar, you can omit it, or you can even put honey if you want. So it's really um, flexible. So I'm just gonna put a tablespoon first because the, um, the pineapple is already very sweet. So I don't need to put much sugar. And 250 grams of ice cube. Let me get my ice. Okay, so what is so great about uh, Thermomix is you get you got a weighing scale directly here. So again, it saves us a lot of uh, appliances. We don't have to clutter our um, kitchen top. Okay, so you just, everything, you just do it in one machine. So you tear it. So it says here yeah, next 150 gram of water. Okay, forgot about the water. Okay, tearing the water. All right. Okay, next insert measuring cup. Next. So one minute. Speed seven, okay? So it's going to crush everything, um, the water, the ice, everything blended together, okay? All right.
Lindsay? Yes. So basically right now you can make uh, like ABC, Chendol and all that as well, right? Because oh, you can yes, crush. Yes, yes, yes. You can crush ice until it is like, you know, like snow. Okay. So it's really powerful and you can crush quite a lot of ice in the thermomix. Okay. So right now, let's see what's inside my bowl. Wow, look at that. All the ice are crushed. Okay. Okay, should I pour it out now? Okay, look. See? So it's really nice. Eyes are all crushed and it's so frothy and um, thick. Okay, let me try. This is my first time making this, okay? It's so refreshing. It's so good. If you want, you can add, um, you can add honey, okay? So cheers. <laughs> okay, let me talk about what else you can make with, um, with this function that I'm doing, like, you know, crushing eyes and, you know, okay, let me talk about it. Let me put it aside. All right. Okay, so how many of you actually, um, you know, make your own drinks at home? Okay, how many of you? Can you type in the chat? You know, which is, but before Thermal makes, seriously, I don't really make this kind of drinks because to crush ice is not easy, okay? You need a very powerful uh, blender and you have to take out your wing scale, you have to remove, take out this, you have to take out that and to crush your eyes, I'm not sure how. I might, need, I might need to buy crushed eyes for it because what I'm using now is a big chunk of ice. So with the Thermomix, it's easily crushed, okay? So let me see, any of you? So any of you make drinks at home or not? Okay, now with Thermomix, it's fast, fresh, and easy. You see how fast it is? One minute for me to make that nice blended uh, sunrise margarita, okay? So with Thermomix, you can um, make lemonade in two seconds, calamansi in two seconds, your margarita in 30 seconds. You can even make frappe coffee, okay? In one minute. You don't need to go Starbucks anymore. You have your best coffee at home your good milk and your homemade whipped cream, everything is there. You prepare, Thermomix prepare everything for you. And you can, you can even grind your coffee bean from beans into um, powder, okay? Um, grind coffee, okay? If you're coffee lover here, do it, okay? And you can um, grind your uh, spices as well, your chicken stalks, your vegetable stalks, so it's really, really easy. This it's multifunction. There's a lot of things you can do with the thermomics. It's just not, it's not only blending, okay? It grinds for you, it makes drinks, everything. And it has a weighing scale as well, okay? So let's talk about a little bit of the background of thermomics, okay? Just a quick one. Thermomics is, the company of thermomics is Vovac. It has been established since um, the 19, uh, 1883, which is um, more than 100 over years, okay? As you can see, it all started off as a little blender in 1961, and it is the original all-in-one super kitchen machine, which is smart at heart as well. Later, I will tell you why this is called smart at heart. Okay, so it evolves uh, during the years, and then they added in the thermal function, and then they added in the little screen there, okay, and which is the TM5. So, and years later, you know, things advance, everything advanced, and right now we have the latest TM6, okay, which is smart at heart, and every 23 seconds, there's one thermomix being sold around the world, which is last year, it's so uh, close to how many million, I think 1.4 million units of thermomix, all right, and it is only RM9 a day, only for 24 months installment, and then that's it, you all, you own that Thermomix for a long, long time, okay? Thermomix is to be, um, you can use your Thermomix for a long time, all right? And I have uh, friends, I have my in-laws who's been using Thermomix for the past 25 years, the old version, and it's still working. So it's really, you know, it's an investment worth every single cent. And it's smart at heart because every now and then it keeps upgrading, new modes keep on 
adding into the latest team of TM6. So like right now, the latest mode we have is the peeler mode. So you can peel your potatoes, you can peel your uh, ginger, your kunyit, your um, chestnut, even, even peel eggs for you, okay? So this is what I mean by smart at heart, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna pass the next uh, slide to our Ayu, Chef Ayu, and she'll be talk about, she'll be showing you the, the cake and she'll be talking about the top class. Over to you, Ayu. Okay, salam and hi, good morning everyone. So I'm Ayu from the Alpha branch and thank you, Lindsay, for the introduction. So today I will be sharing with you one of my favorite recipes, which is um, hazelnut chocolate tart. Very easy. For those of you who love chocolate, this is a must make um, item. So before I introduce you to all the um, accessories, why not we start straight away? So the recipe is already in the cookie dough, which I will explain shortly. Okay, so I'm just going to retrieve the recipe. So first they asked to preheat the oven, which I have already done. And then I've lined my um, baking tray. So I will be using the circle baking tray. This actually has um, flips that you can open up. So you can actually don't need to line it, but for easier purposes, I prefer to line it. So we're going to add in um, the hazelnut. So this bowl is actually stainless steel and it's 2.2 liters, which means you can put things that 2.2 liters in it. Now, as you can see, we've got a touch screen panel as well, and it's really, really easy to use. So I'm going to add in the hazelnut. Okay, so over here, we've also got a built-in weighing scale. So you do not need to take out your weighing scale as well. So one less kitchen appliance for you to wash and for you to have in the house. Okay, so next, it asks us to add 180 grams of dark chocolate. So over here, it's written how many percentage of cocoa because, you know, um, some of the chocolates, they have different percentage. So right here, it says you should use 54% um, of cocoa solids or pieces of salad, so more like this. Now, why they ask to do this way is so that it's easier for you later on to like crush it and melt it. If you were to use the bar, then it's a bit more um, challenging. Okay, so the hazelnut is in there and the chocolate is in there. So over here we have, um, this is called the measuring cup. So why it's called the measuring cup is because if you see here closely, it actually has a 50 ml and a 100 ml marking in there. Okay, wait, let me find the lighting. <laughs> okay, so this is called the measuring cup and this is basically the lid. So every time when you want to cook, you have to close the lid for safety purposes. There's an auto lock over here. So it will automatically lock once when I turn. And you just place the measuring cup on top based on the instruction given. So sometimes they will ask you to place the measuring cup. Sometimes they may say insert the simmering basket, but not to worry because everything will be explained in here. So what I'm going to do right now for the next 10 seconds is basically I will be crushing the um, hazelnut as well as the chocolate pieces. So once again, I will show you how it looks like so that you can see um, the magic that happens after that in just 10 seconds. Okay, so we're going to go to speed nine. So right now, basically what it's doing is it's crushing the hazelnut and the chocolate. Now, without the thermomix, you would have had to take out your weighing scale. You would have had to take out your blender. Right now, I'm still using only one kitchen appliance. Okay, so let's see how it is. And just like that, in 10 seconds, wow, look at that. Amazing, right? Okay, so next, we're going to add in the butter. So over here, I've got 180 grams of um, unsalted butter. Just going to place them in. Maybe we can add a bit more. Here. So like I mentioned, the weighing steel is here. So it is precise by the gram, so I do not have to worry. 
Okay. And next, again, it says insert the measuring cup and the lid. So we'll place it on top. As you can see, the only step that I keep doing is just clicking the next button. So next, and now we're going to go to speed six. Again, it's going to help us chop. As I mentioned, with the stone mix, it is so, so easy because everything is just, you know, in one machine. Okay, so moving on next. What we're going to do is we're going to scrape the side. I will show you how creamy it looks right now. So then, okay. At this point of time, normally you would take out the third appliance and you would actually take out your cake mixer, correct? So now we've saved another kitchen appliance. Okay, so I'm just going to scrape down the sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert our next kitchen appliance, which is this. So this is called the butterfly whisk. Okay, so this butterfly whisk. What we will do is we will insert it. Okay, you just insert it just like that. Just in here, just like that. Okay, so you do not have to remove the blade. You just have to insert it in. Okay, now the purpose of the butterfly whisk is you can use it to make your kaya. How many of you have made kaya? Let me know in the comments. And um, besides that as well, you can also use it to make your pavlova, your meringue. Okay, next I'm going to add in um, my egg. So I've got three eggs here. Just going to crack them and place them directly in. So as you can see, there was not much prep to be done, not much ingredients, very straightforward. Besides maybe just the hazelnut, everything else I would assume that you have at home. And if you do not want to use, um, what is this? Uh, I'll go to next to the sugar. Okay, next we're going to add in caster sugar. Now the amount of sugar you can always control to how much and how sweet you like it. So over here it says 150 grams of caster sugar. So we're going to add in 150 grams of caster sugar. Okay, the test. Okay, I did not pre-measure the sugar, so I will just show you how easy it is. So and just like that. So you've got 150 grams of caster sugar in there. And we are going to cover. Next. So for the next five minutes at speed tree, what it's basically do, pre doing is actually whisking. So it's the same as you were to do it on a normal um, convention um, cake mixer, except this, I will tell you a little secret. You don't have to wash your bowl. It will be clean for you. So that's how amazing it is. Now, moving on to the um, accessories that you get along with the kitchen um, with the Thermomix for free is you get the spatula. So this spatula basically um, helps when you use the simmering basket. So for example, when you cook rice in here, when you cook rice in here, basically you're getting a low GI rice. Because the rice bus the simmering basket will sit in here and all the starch water that's underneath will be collected. So that will give you your low GI rice, a healthier option of um, making rice. And you can cook your potatoes in here, you can put so many things in the simmering basket itself. Uh, some actually um, use this as a strainer. So if you make the lemonade, you just place this inside and you can pour the lemon out without worrying that the lemons will come off. So when you cook the simmering basket in there, so there's a hook at the side here, as you can see. Okay, there's a little hook here. So all you're going to do is you're going to hook it onto the basket just like that. And for hygiene purpose, so when you put it down, you can see it does not touch the table. So this is the spatula. So like I showed you just now, what we do is sometimes, you know, the food may be at the side. So we use this to scrap, uh, scrap, strip the sides down. Okay, next we have what is called the varoma. So the varoma basically um, is actually comes from the word vapor and aroma. 
So anytime when you want to steam, you can even sterilize your milk bottles, your glass jars, everything in this Varoma. So the Varoma is 3.3 liters. Basically, you can cook like one whole um, large chicken. You can make your chicken rice in here. So you can probably put your chicken down there and you can put your veggies at the top. So it actually helps you to do multi-layering cooking. So instead of the measuring cup, what you will do is you will actually place this on top, just like that. So this way, you will be cooking multi-layers to okay? Very fast and very convenient. All right. And but basically, the Thermomix is a high German quality motor. So it's uniquely frictionless. So there's no fan needed. And because there's no, no heat generated as well. So the speed goes from 40 RPM up to 10,700. So if you will have the, a rock sugar, I'm sure some of you may have seen our previous demos. Our rock sugar can turn into powder sugar in just two seconds. That's how fast and easy it can be. And as I mentioned just now, you can see that this is a locking system. So which means I cannot remove the bowl right now. So for safety purposes, if you have children, they may be curious. So you cannot they cannot remove um, the bowl out from here. Now, all plastic parts are made from high quality BPA free materials, which is basically the same materials that is used um, for baby feeding products, which is conformed with the US and European food um, safety standards. Now, another kitchen, uh, another kitchen, uh, thermomics appliance that you'll get is the flash guard. Now, we do have high temperature cooking in the thermomics itself. So with the uh, splash guard, you can actually just place it on top here. You remove this, you place it on top. It will actually lock the sides for safety again. And you can make your fried ikan bilis, your bawang goreng. You can um, brown your meat, your chicken, and your daging. So all this all comes with the um, thermomix itself. All right. So moving on. Next. Like I shared just now, now everyone can bake. So basically, previously, even if you are not um, a baker, I know a lot of people who actually can bake very well right now because more or less with the Thermomix, it gives you like 99.999% of um, accuracy and it helps you with the step-by-step guided -step cooking. So it, like I showed you, it can weigh, it can mix, and it can also knead. So if you have never done grits, your mantau, your pao, all that is easy because we have a kneading mode in here itself. So it mimics the um, method of kneading. So you do not have to stand there sweating and kneading the whole entire time. All right. So next, basically, okay. So right now, for the next step as well, just in time, see with all that talking. Now, we're going to move on to the next step. So it says remove the butterfly whisk. It looks amazing in here. Or I'll show you first. Woo, look at that. Okay. So next, I will remove the butterfly whisk. So when you want to remove the butterfly whisk, you just need to pull it up. Okay, so chocolatey in here. Look at that. I'm so tempted to lick it, but yeah, I will resist. <laughs> okay, so it says remove the butterfly whisk. Next, it says scrape down the sides. So we're going to scrape down the sides. Okay, I'm going to scrape down the sides. Okay, wow, so chocolatey good. Okay, next, it says add 35 grams of plain flour. So I'm going to add 35 grams of plain flour. Okay, so if it ever moves, then you just click tag, it goes back to zero, and you will place in our flour. So I'm just using plain flour for this purpose. Okay. 35 grams, and that's it. Next, okay, we're going to insert the measuring cup again, cover it. Okay, next, 
And for the next 10 seconds, it's beat four big six, it's mixing it for me. Okay, so as I was mentioning earlier, this recipe is actually from Cookie Doo. Okay, and Cookie Doo is an online platform. It's an online platform, so it's the world's largest cook guided cooking library. When I first purchased it, there was like 65,000. And within like hardly a couple of months and years, right now, it's gone up to more than 80,000 recipes at your fingertips. So it has a personal collection because many people before this asked whether, oh, can we add our personal collection in here? You can absolutely do that. So if you have like your mother-in-law's recipe or your mom's recipe, you know, your, your generation passed down recipes, you can always place it in here. So anyone that is going to cook will cook exactly the same way and I would say, hands down, it should taste the same every single time because it's for consistency. And besides that, we also have um, videos in the Thermomix itself. So this will actually um, give you guided um, cooking so that you, you, know, you have a better idea on how to make some of the well-known famous recipes that we have in here. Okay, and besides that, it has a shopping list, which is what I love. You know, I've seen, especially during like um, the first lockdown, I saw so many husbands like, you know, calling their wives, not knowing what to get and everything. Um, whereas now with the shopping list, so let's just say if I was going to make um, this hazelnut chocolate tart, all I had to do was just click add to shopping list and all the items that is needed in for this recipe here will be sent into um, our cookie do account. And this cookie do account, the great thing is it's not only that you can access it from the machine, you can access it from your phone, your tab, your laptop. So it can actually sync up to three devices at one time. So my husband who's probably at the groceries can actually retrieve it and know what to buy. And um, so right now I'm just going to scrape down the side. Okay. Almost there. We're almost there. It looks so good. Oh, okay. And cover it. We're just going to give it a last mix. Okay. Go to speed four and mix it again for just five seconds. So today, as you can see, I'm actually outside in my balcony cooking um, this amazing hazelnut chocolate pot. How easy and convenient it is, right? That you can cook anywhere at any time right now. Okay, so let's transfer it to our tin. Okay. You can see the texture of it coming out. It's nice and smooth. Oh, it looks so deliciously sinfully good. <laughs> You know how when you have all the extras, sometimes I just wish like I could just lick the whole bowl. <laughs> I know it's not good because there's egg in it and, and all that, but it's so hard to resist at times. Okay, let me just scrape all of this down. So without the cookie do recipe, honestly, I don't think I would be able to actually really try this out. The reason why is I have bought cookbooks before and every time when I try to bake, it always turns into a disaster. I have no idea why, but with the Thermomix and the cookie do, it's a step-by-step -step guided, so I know I have... It's like watching a YouTube video and someone there guiding you um, how to cook. It is so, so, so like reliable that I do not have to worry that it's not going to turn out well. That's the great thing about it. Okay. So I'm just going to like, I don't know. I, I would actually like just <laughs> lick it around, but yeah, maybe not on the camera, <laughs> maybe behind the scenes. So right now it says that I need to bake it for 25 to 30 minutes at um, 170 degrees until the outside is just firm. So I will put it in the oven and um, until then I will pass it over to Lindsay again so she can start the next recipe with y'all. I will see y'all in a bit. 
thanks. Are you looks good? Okay, before I start my tomato risotto, okay, let's talk a little bit about the uh, what you can do. Also, you can even make your own ice cream. Okay, so who makes your own ice cream at home? I don't think many of us makes make our own ice cream at home, right? Because we have no idea how to make it and seems like a lot of work, right? But no, with Thermomix, you can make your ice cream in two, in less than two minutes, all right? You make your ice cream fresh, no preservative, no anti-freezing agents, no artificial coloring, everything from fresh, good quality ingredients and ready to put in the freezer. And in 24 hours, you can have your fresh made home ice cream. Because how many times that we buy ice cream from the shelves, you know, um, and we spend a lot also on ice cream. It's not cheap if you want a good quality ice cream. And you can see the, um, the shelf life is sometimes uh, one year, 18 months to 20 months. You know why? Because there are, no matter what, no matter how, how much you pay, there is always some agents in it, some preservatives and some artificial flavoring. There's no way that will give you 100% pure ice cream, okay? So, and it's a fun, um, recipe to do with your kids, especially if you have kids, you know, making it so easy, like strawberry ice cream, strawberry sorbet, or uh, lemon, uh, mango ice cream, chocolate ice cream. So yes, you know, healthy, delightful, bring, bring joy every day. Okay, let's start with my tomato risotto. Okay, so I've said this is another cookie dough recipe. Um, uh, this is my first time making tomato risotto. Uh, I always make a mushroom risotto. So I have all the ingredients here. So it, when you scroll, you can see all the ingredients, the preparations, and also the nutrition facts. Okay, some of you who are on a diet or what so, you can see the amount of calorie, energy, all written here. Okay, so let's start cooking. So it says here, okay, it can also share um, cheese. Okay, so it says here 100 grams of parmesan cheese, but I really have um, parmesan shaved cheese at home. So if you don't have any shaved cheese, you can actually shave your cheese, your parmesan cheese, your cheddar cheese, your, you know, et cetera, whatsoever cheese. Okay. Okay. So next insert. So it sets everything for me. I'm going to skip this part. So whenever you're cooking, when you have something already at home, you can always skip, 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 go to next. Very easy. Okay, now let's start with the main, main dish. So it says uh, 90 gram of shallots. Okay, so I have 90 gram of shallots here. All right, and two garlic cloves. So just put it in. All right, and then 40 gram of olive oil. Okay. Just pour it directly, so easy. Because there's a direct weighing scale here. It's so simple. Everything in one machine, in one bowl. We don't have to have extra bowls, separate bowls to wash everything here. Okay. Insert measuring cup. So insert. So it's going to blend everything for me, chop. Okay. At five seconds, speed five. So it really fixed the, um, the speed for me. So just go to speed five. So you see why you want why you need to chop why do you want to chop it manually where thermomix can do it for you and it really chops for you finely and nicely evenly okay so it says scrape down i want to show you how it looks like okay in five seconds you get this okay just nicely not too fine not too chunky just nice Right. So insert measuring cup. So it's going to um, saute for me at for three minutes, 120 degrees, which is our general cooking uh, temperature, 120 degrees. And it has fixed for me uh, speed one, okay? So three minutes, 120 degrees. Okay, let's talk about temperature cooking. Okay. okay, 
need you. All you ever need. Okay. All right. So can you put in the chat here how many of you actually has all these um, all these appliances but not in use, all kept in the kitchen cabinet? Can you put in the chat? So for me, I know I have a lot of these uh, appliances, which before Thermomix I have, I collect all of them, but I seldom use it because first I have to remove each and every one out because each appliances only serve for one purpose. And then on top of that, I need to have uh, cookbooks. I need to have, um, before that, you know, the internet is not really uh, great yet with all the uh, recipes. So I buy a lot of cookbooks and, and even with cookbooks, it's hard to follow because you really have to, you know, gauge yourself, you know, and the temperature and everything and the speed. It doesn't tell you all that. So you just, you have to agar agar as well with cookbook. So with all this, you know, for me, it's really a waste of space and sometimes it's a waste of money as well. So, but with after thermal mix, I realized that it is, you know, Really, I spent so much on appliances that I never used them. And now I'm so happy that I got this. Only one now is counting 25 appliances in one uh, machine. Okay, now you can even peel potatoes for us, peel eggs for us, all right? So it's all you ever need. Okay, so let's talk about temperature control. So right now I'm cooking at 120 degrees. So with thermomix, always remember the uh, general cooking temperature with thermomix is 120 degrees. Actually, general cooking in everything <laughs> using olive oil or whatever oil, I mean, especially with olive oil or coconut oil, it is um, 120 degrees. That is the perfect healthy temperature to cook with, uh, with the uh, olive oil and all the good oils that is uh, not heat resistance. Okay, then we also have high temperature cooking. We have um, uh, 80 degrees auto, um, 80 degrees auto set cooking. We have also, we can make our own uh, sugar stages. You can make a lollipop and you can also have, uh, you can also caramelize. Okay, you can make dodo and everything. So Ramadan is coming. I think it's tomorrow, right? So we have a lot of recipes that allows you to um, create your Ramadan dishes and okay and recipe books as well. Thermomix has just came out with uh, Thermomix Malaysia has just came out with a very good Ihna recipe book. I think all of you should get it. You can talk to your advisors for that. Okay, so perfect temperature it brings out the best. So when you're using um, organic, uh, especially organic ingredients, organic meat, organic vegetables. Cook it at 120 degrees to keep its nutrient and its um, um, retain, uh, retain its nutrient and also uh, fumeless uh, cooking. So it's only steam coming out, not fumes. Okay, right. So next step. Okay, so I have my. Um, Italian rice, arborio, or I use a uh, carlos. Okay, so let me show you how it looks like. Okay, after sorting, so it looks like this. Okay, it's not brown. It's it didn't burn anything. You can smell the aroma of the um the shallots and the the garlic. Okay, if us if we were to cook this on the stove, we might. Um, you might see the garlic has turned brown, the shallots has, um, you know, turning brown a bit or black, okay? So with thermal mix, 120 degrees, perfect. So add in my rice, okay, just directly into the bowl. Okay. So this is how it looks like, okay? Rice added in. All right. Okay, now next. Okay, 200 gram of fried tomatoes diced. Okay. Okay. Next, 
without measuring cup. So this time this cooking is asking for to remove the measuring cup. The reason is they want it to evaporate, okay? So it's gonna cook it for at, um, 120 degrees again for three minutes at a reverse speed this time, okay? So there is a reverse function here. So the function for reverse is to not chop off your ingredients. It won't chop off your rice. So when you're cooking your vegetables and meat, the reverse function has to always be um, activated. Okay, If you're doing manual cooking, always activate your reverse function if you're cooking with ingredients. But if you're chopping or blending or grinding, it's okay, you don't need the reverse function. So reverse function is where the blunt side of the blade is cooking and turning. So speed one. Okay, let's continue with our temperature. Okay, so thermomix all you ever need. Like I mentioned just now, it cooks everything from 37 degrees to Varoma. Uh, you saw um, Ayu um, cooking just now. Um, she can even um, you know, blend her, her with her, with her cake batter. You can even make kaya at a 70 degrees. Because making kaya is very, um, how you call it, very, the procedure is you have to be by the stove stirring. You cannot um, have high heat, you have to have low heat, maintain low heat, and um, not burning your um, coconut, right? And 120 degrees, you can even brown your uh, your meat now. You can, like if you make a stew, you can brown your beef, you can brown your lamb, you can caramel, car car caramelization. You can also now make high temperature cooking. Um, you know, making uh, crispy garlic, crispy shallots, making your crispy ikan bilis. And with the varoma temperature, you can Actually, like right now, I'm doing this rice uh, risotto. While it's cooking, I can actually steam something on top using the Varoma dish where Ayu showed just now. Right, so that is perfect temperature for everything. You can melt your chocolate as well at a 50 degrees temperature, which is um, temperature control, which we have in Thermomix. Okay, so next. Fast, delicious, easy, healthy, in four layer cooking. So like I mentioned just now, you can do layer cooking with Thermomix. You can do up to four layers, meaning you can make your soup. At the same time, you can boil your vegetables. And then at the top layer, you can steam your eggs, your uh, fish or your chicken or your vegetables or even um, your bao, your buns, right? So it is really fast, delicious, and easy. You can make chicken rice in all one go in less than 30 minutes. We have a lot of amazing recipes in Cookie Do for you to follow, okay? So for those who are really busy, no time, come back from work, you just want to have a quick meal, you can have a quick meal, okay? Thermomix is here to help us to ease uh, our kitchen nightmare, you know? And it really helps cut off a lot of time when you're cooking with Thermomix. And on top of that, you have the cleaning function as well. All right. So you can see here, there's a lot of um, ways you can make your um, layer cooking with Thermomix to gain time. Seriously, Thermomix user in here, do you agree with me? You save time when you're cooking with Thermomix? Can you type in the chat? You know, do you agree when cooking with Thermomix, it saves you a lot of time? Okay, let's come back to this after we go back to my risotto steps. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so you see, it's all mixed up now, okay? With the uh, tomato cubes, uh, the chopped tomatoes, the onion, the shallots, the garlic, it's all in here. Okay, so it says your script to loosen the rice. Okay, so we we'll just scrape it around. All right. Okay, next, add sixty gram of dry wine. For so for those of you who doesn't take um 
alcohol, you can always add water or your um, uh, stocks, okay? So, 60 grams. Okay. Next, without measuring cup again. So it wants to evaporate, okay? So, so that's why you release, remove the measuring cup, okay? So just for one minute, at 100 degrees, speed one. Reverse, everything is really set here, right? So I don't have to worry about anything, I just have to follow. Okay, let's go back to layer cooking. So you can see you really gain a lot of time cooking, um, multi-layer cooking, okay? And you can make even kueh on top where you're cooking at the bottom, you can, you can steam your kueh, steam your banana uh, muffin, your pandan muffin. You can even make hard boiled egg, steam your hard boiled egg on top. So it is possible. And those of you who have not tried your chicken rice recipe, please try it, okay? It is amazing. From making the chili sauce to the, to the soup, to the steamed chicken and the rice, you know, the chicken oil rice is really yummy. You have to try it. It's in our seven days perfection. Okay. So um, next. All right, see, so fast. Okay. Next. Okay, so it looks, it looks like just now it looks the same. So it has evaporated and incorporated the um the what do you call that the wine okay so now it says at 200 at 500 gram of boiling water okay I'll add some hot water okay So again, making risotto is quite um, tedious as well, you know, because you have to be by the stove, making sure that um, there's always water there and it's not drying up. It doesn't burn the bottom of the pot. Okay, so it's it's never it's not easy making risotto, and you have always uh, you have to be by the stove, um, stirring all the time. Okay, just like making porridge. Okay. So with thermomix, it really helps a lot and it's so simple to make. Okay, next, add a vegetable salt, um, stock, okay? I have some. I add chicken stock, okay? Because I want it to be more flavor. I want it to have more flavor. Tomato puree, okay? Right. So again, I'm measuring it directly from here. Okay. Next, so a half teaspoon of sea salt. Okay, just aga aga. Okay. <laughs> so if you don't want it to be too salty, you can just add a pinch. And it says brown pepper. So I brown my pepper in the thermomix as well. I buy the pepper, uh, pepper, you know, the black pepper, and I ground it myself. Okay, next, insert measuring cup. Okay, so this time, insert the measuring cup. 12 minutes at 100 degrees, reverse speed one. So it is cooking at a low temperature, all right, below boiling point, 100 degrees. And in 12 minutes, I get my risotto. So, are you, you get to lick your <laughs> chocolate, is it? Okay. But yeah. So I think, are you, go back to you now. You're going to talk about the modes and you're going to finish this off and don't go anywhere. We have to show you our risotto and our chocolate tart, okay? Okay. So uh, just to show you very quick, um, just now while, what is it, while Lindsay was talking, yeah, 
And then what happened was I actually pre-cleaned my bowl. So you can see it's clean. And this is why I say that normal, um, conventional, like if you make your cake mixer, you will not be able to do that. But with the thermomix, it's so easy because right now, even if I make like bread and anything, because the dough gets stuck to it. So it's really easy for you to pre-clean it. You don't have to worry about cleaning. All right, so now let's talk about the other functions that we have on the thermomix. So now um, on the thermomix, we have the fermentation mode. Now, how many of you have made your yogurt? I personally have never thought that I could make my own yogurt. And the reason why it's better and nicer to make your own yogurt is because you can control the amount of sugar that goes in it. And the flavors that's in it is basically pure natural fruits that you put, not just flavoring. Because if you buy the store-bought, normally it's more on the flavoring and not so much on the real fruit itself. Now, what we have next is also the slow cook mode. So the slow cook mode, it helps you cook, cook between 37 to 98 degrees and you can cook up to eight hours reverse. Now, I know there was one time when we were cooking using the pressure cooker and then like suddenly halfway, there was no gas. You know how frustrating that is? It's like, as it is, you already have to slow cook. And then there was no gas. It was so frustrating. I was like, oh my God, I don't ever want to cook again. And you have to constantly like check the water. Whereas with the thermomix, you already have preset everything. So it will cook for you. You can even do it the night before. And while you're sleeping, it will cook for you. You do not have to worry about leaving the stove overnight and, you know, um, safety concerns. Next is the sous vide mode. Now, sous vide mode, if you go to modes like um, um, high, high international well-known restaurants or hotel, they will normally ask you how you would like your meat. And the reason why they get to serve you nice, juicy meat is that because basically what it does is it's actually um, not bathing, but <laughs> it's actually um, dipping the meat, the your what's that your meat in the water so it's cooking evenly in a low temperature at a longer time of um, cooking so that it maintains the nutrients in it and you get to have um, a really juicy and delicious meat and steak that when you cook it now the next one i love is the rice cooker mode i love clay pot chicken i love my biryani and some of them ask you know can we cook the rice in here yes you can and like i mentioned just now you can either use the simmering basket or you can even use cook rice in the mixing bowl itself so you can cook for a, a quite a large pack of number of people and all you have to do is just put dump all your ingredients you can put your chicken in your mushroom in your sausage in everything in that you want for that particular rice dish, like nasi tomato ke, nasi biryani ke, and um, just set it to rice cooker mode, and it will actually cook for you in like less than 26 minutes. Amazing. Now, for the warm-up mode, now warm-up mode is good because you don't use your microwave oven, and using this is a lot more safer. So warm-up mode, we actually have a warm-up mode function. So all you have to do is basically just click the warm-up mode, and it will actually help you warm up your food. And egg boiler. Now, I know most of us love our killer toast with soft boiled eggs and safe tarik. That is such you know, a great combination. But somehow or other, sometimes when we make soft boiled eggs, it will probably turn medium high or high. Right now, with our egg boiler mode, you can actually choose whether you want it soft, medium, soft, um, hard, and all the different uh, textures of just egg. How amazing. And like I mentioned, the pre-clean mode, amazing. Because you can actually use it for your doughs, uh, your sambal. When you already made your curry, you don't feel like cleaning it. Um, your fats and caramel, if you have made like uh, dough dough, yes, you can make dough dough. You can make wajet, you can make um, salted caramel in here. So many things. And if you're concerned about cleaning up, not to worry because it will pre-clean for you. Even browning your meat, sometimes there may be a little bit of meat stuck, but not to worry because we have the browning um, method to pre-clean. It will help to break up the fat and then later it will clean for you. So it's really, really amazing. All right. So next we have, what is the first dish you will cook when you get your thermomix? Because I'm sure you have seen us make the sunrise margarita, how easy it was, effortlessly. The hazelnut chocolate tart, 
so deliciously and sinfully good. And right now that's cooking in uh, Lindsay's kitchen is a re uh, tomato risotto. I am sure there's so many that you want to cook, right? Just when you get your thermal mix. Personally, mine, the first dish that I made was beef rendang. Who knew that? First dish straight away, not even the two seconds lemonade, boom, rendang. So now with only nine ringgit a day, that is how much it will cost you to get your thermal mix. Is it worth it or totally worth it? Absolutely worth it. I mean, look at that. We've got installment plans. You can even um, do cash payment. You can even do um, debit card, credit card. We accept all kinds of mode of payment. All right. So next, you get to bring home and enjoy the thermomix. So when you purchase the thermomix, you are getting free six months of cookie do subscription, which has over 80,000 recipes and counting. You will also have our online recipe community, which has lots of members that constantly share. You will get the free basic cookbooks. You will be able to join our VIP cooking classes and our hands-on classes, which we will be having um, coming very soon. We will be making scones. Um, before this, we actually showed how to make mooncake, how to make strawberry shortcake, how to make sourdough. So all these are all under our VIP classes. And on top of that, we will also give you a free unboxing service. Now, why is this free unboxing service very important? It's because we do not just want you to purchase our machine, not know how to use it. So with Thermomix, you're not just buying just the machine, but you're also getting our personal service that we will give to you. And besides that, like I mentioned, you will get our personal um, advisor support. So if there's any recipes that you want, we will be there to support you. If you have any um, concerns, any problems, we will be there to support you. Now, um, our service center and our manufacturing warranty is up to two years and we have trained and well-skilled um, uh, service providers that will actually take care of you if there is anything that goes wrong with your machine. Okay? Now, thermal mix is all you ever need from breakfast to dinner. So imagine making sunrise margarita in the breakfast on this lovely hot morning. And then making your tomato risotto for lunch. And then for tea, you have this hazelnut chocolate brioche. And for dinner, who knows, you can always make me goreng mama or chicken rice. Because it is so fast, easy, and simple without any mess and any stress. As you can see, like I said, I'm outside here in my balcony enjoying the beautiful view, beautiful day, and cooking all these delicious meals stress-free. All right. So next, life with Thermomix right now is amazing. Family, my family gets to eat together because previously I never used to cook. Um, mothers can cook and work at the same time because I understand, you know, we're, we're slowly moving out, but, you know, some are still working from home and it is quite challenging during this period, you know, trying to juggle work, you know, the children, cooking and the expectations. So rather than ordering out, at least right now, we get to save that money and, you know, cook delicious, healthy meals, which is fast to make for our family. Because even if you order from, from like the online, the food providers, it will take at least half an hour for it to get to your house if it's not raining. And another thing that I realized is that it also cultivates good eating, healthy habits in my children because they know what goes in their food and we... Uh, we choose the proper ingredients that goes in it because it's a healthier way of cooking. So they're not just having fast food and um, deep fried food all the time. So I love the auto cooking and auto washing function because I can just like cook, leave it, go do whatever I want and come back and attend to it. And as you can see, like I said, you know, beautiful clean kitchen. I do not have a cooker food, so I do not have to inhale all the cooking fumes. And also, it's really good for us to invest in good health, which is really, really worthwhile. That's why they say health is well, because what we put in our body is very, very important. All right, so... Next, in today's show, I'm sure you watched so many and learned so many interesting things. So who else needs a thermomix? If you found this an amazing experience and if you did learn something, please 
do share this amazing experience with any of your friends, whether they are share, whether they are busy professionals who always eat out, um, whether they are people who are health conscious, because some like my husband personally, he has high cholesterol, high, <laughs> high blood pressure, so we need to control what he eats. Um, cooking enthusiasts because we have over up to 80,000 recipes which they can actually expand their culinary experience to learn to cook something. We have international recipes in here as well as local. And besides that, friends who can't cook, which was once me, I would never imagine that I would be sitting in front here sharing um, this amazing cooking journey with you all as well. And family to children. For example, my kids, my seven-year-old, when she was four or five years old, she could already make bread, she could already make cake, and she was so proud of herself. And that's what I feel that, you know, is really, really satisfying to see. And it's basically, you know, um, a great, um, what is this, kitchen appliance for friends, and especially for elderly, because, you know, at the age, maybe they cannot stand too long in the kitchen, or, you know, they, 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 due to their condition, they need to sit down like me currently, not, not that I have a health condition, but <laughs> they sit down and also cook comfortably. Now, it makes a perfect wedding gift and a housewarming anniversary birthday gift, or even, you know, for like companies who want to give like lucky draws and employer rewards. I've got a few of my customers who are actually doing it right now. All right. So, the best way to multiply your happiness is basically to share it with others. So now, for example, for those of you who have purchased and currently I will post gifts, that means if you invite any of your friends to come and watch our show after purchasing, we will actually give you a special host gift. Now, the host gift for this month is... Ah, I love this. I will need to show you what I did with it. Okay. So what I did with this was basically, um, <laughs> this is a steaming tray. I didn't really use it for steaming, but actually this steaming tray also served as a good serving tray. Now I made the banana bread. So I put this on. So this is what you're going to get. Now, this is called the Varoma Premium Series. Why? It's called the Varoma Premium Series. Basically, very simple. It fits into our Varoma. Okay. So this is our Varoma. Remember, we use it for steaming. Now in here, if you want to like um, steam your chicken, so there's a trivet, we will give this to you for free. So you place the trivet in there and then you can place this on top. All right, now this is your Varoma baking paper. Now why I love this is because this is um we... It's reusable. Oh, I'm going to like recyclable. It's reusable, so you can use it over and over again. So if you're going to like use it um to steam your fish, it's good because it will help to catch the juice in it. Um, when you're using cheesecake, so you just place it in and it fits perfectly. So that's why it's called the Varoma Premium Series. Now this is also another Varoma um baking paper. Uh, this one does not have the holes in it. So because um, the non-sticking coating, it can easily be peeled away after um, usage, making it uh, cleaning easier. Now, this is the cupcake uh, mold that we have, the two silicone molds. We're giving this away to you as well for free. All right, so all this all is the current um, hosting gift promotion that we are giving. So when you purchase with us right now, this is what you'll get. And honestly, trust me, this is a really, really amazing host gift because there are so many of our current customers who purchase the Thermomix, but they but this is not the host gift. They keep asking, can we purchase it? Can we purchase it? Unfortunately, no, you cannot purchase it. This is imported from Australia and we are not selling it separately as well. So you will not be able to um, purchase it. So make sure if you do not have your Thermomix, quickly get it. If you already have a Thermomix, who knows, maybe get a second Thermomix because one is never enough. If you know, you can always do it to the Thermomix. So that's our current host gift for um, this period and you better hurry because it's until a limited period of time um, until only the 10th of April. And also we're giving away one um, a free e-cookbook because um, Ramadan special. So Ramadan is just around the corner and you will actually get 
the Hari Raya um, e-cookbook. So we will give it to you. It's easy to download. There are lots of recipes in there. We've got the daging rendang. We've got like, I don't know, I saw so many interesting recipes that I'm not even going to wait for Hari Raya. I'm just going to do it during quarter. And for those of you who make, um, okay, those host gift is available, it's applicable to everyone, whether you do installment or whether you do um, a, the full purchase as well. Now, on top of that, for those of you who make full payment by online banking, you will receive the thermal server and the glass jar. Now, what's the purpose of the thermal server? So if you make, to say, if you make the curry or if you make, uh, rice and you want to cook, you can actually put it in the thermos server and it will help you to keep it warm. Now, the glass jars, as I said, you can make your own yogurt. Now, this is the best time to make your own yogurt because we're giving it to you away for free. What 440 ringgit. Now, on top of that, for those of you who do not pay um, full payment by cash online banking, you can also do it by credit card or debit card and we will give you our Thermore mat with 190 ringgit for free. I love this Thermore mat. Because this Thermore mat is also actually um, oven proof, so which means you can put it in the oven, you can put it in the freezer, you can put it in the fridge, you can put it even in the dishwasher to clean it. And it's great because whenever you're making your scones, your cookies, your, your cake, anything that you need to place it on a surface, you're placing it on this clean mat, which can be washed. So it's really, really um, useful. And that is why we're giving something to you which you will use it for free. Now, I, after calculating, I'm like, wow, we have so much of gifts to give that I highly recommend you all to hurry and just click your payment method. Your advisors will be sending you the link um, shortly after this and they will be in touch with you um, to, of course, uh, you know, get your feedback from you and we hope that you will quickly purchase it because um, in Klein Valley, you can actually do next day delivery. So please check with your advisor. All right. Wow. Are you, can I show my risotto? I'm done. Yes, and I need to go to the oven to get my cake before it, it overcooks. Okay. All right. Okay, look. So I've trans transitioned from my kitchen to my dining area. So look at that. It's so good. It tastes really, really good. A lot of flavors. And all in less than... Um, cooking time is uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And preparation time is only um, 5 minutes. So, And I don't have to worry about it being burned at the bottom or overcooked or undercooked. Perfect risotto. Really nice. Okay, and I hope you guys enjoyed the cooking show. And don't forget to purchase your Thermomix today. Ramadan is around the corner. Raya is around the corner. Lots of festive festivity is coming up. You know, um, Easter is around the corner too. So you want to start baking, making um, really nice Easter buns. And Ramadan, a lot of nice, really enak, enak recipes. Okay, I'll pass it back to Ayu. Ayu, how's your tort? It is good. But um, as you know, whenever you bake uh, something, you should always let it to cool for a while. Yeah. But honestly, the smell is so good. I'm so glad I'm not fasting right now so I can eat this straight away. So this is how it looks like. I'll show you how it looks like. Um, so it's actually going to be more or less like, uh, how do you say? What? It will be like uh, firm on the outside and like really like soft on the inside. So it's not too so it's dense like a cake. Like and then when you eat it with like mixed berries and cream, oh, it's so good. I wish I could show you like the cream and the raspberries right now. But yeah, it's just still hot from the oven. <laughs> it's like fondue, right? Yes. Yeah. And but fondue is a little bit more um uh, runny, whereas yeah. this one there's a little bit more texture to it. So it's in the middle. <laughs> hey, all right. So can't wait to see your photo after decoration. Yes, so make sure you follow um our IG account. Yeah. Lindsay is my kitchen diva. I and I'm I am at the 
<laughs> and if, if uh, those of you who wants your friend to watch who you think you know halfway through the show you think oh I have friends might be interested share with them you know um, get the link from your advisor the recorded video and share with your friends you know or your family or your colleagues etc or your neighbors all right Yep, and we will be sharing with you the recipes as well for today's show, although some of it is in cookie do itself, but we will be sharing with you so that you can try it as well. All right, bye. Thanks, Ayu. Thanks all right, you. have a great week and selamat berpuasa to all our Muslim friends that are fasting. Have a wonderful week, everyone. See you. Bye.